we are live hello everyone this is nancy welcome back to our live tutorial brought to you by glister sister and such and a team this is a look of four nails we did it last night and if you miss this you can always be watching them from our igtv as well as on our facebook page and youtube uh, channel hey keja hey how are you Thanks so much for tuning in, everyone. And I'm gonna move this one away. This is a really cool, stunning design last night we are doing. And today we're gonna do another four nails. It's gonna be so cool and stunning. I am working with the foil that we're gonna do is uh, number 30th. Hey, Sonia. Hey, how are you? Thanks so much for tuning in. And I am gonna using that design along with crystal placement. So first nails, I'm gonna go ahead and using with uh, premium Iho Chan for Foy. Hello, Debbie. And I'm gonna do whole nails and see how it's gonna turn out. Hope everyone have a great uh, Tuesday. Let's cure this one for 30 seconds. In the meantime, I am also doing another one. So we're gonna let it cure. And I'm gonna do one of these designs um, using that foil as well. It like uh, look like, um, they have an oil sleek. Um, let me see if I can. Hey, Nuna, how are you? Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm just sending the quick uh, invite. So, great. All right, this one done. I'm gonna move this one on the side for a second. See how this one, and it doesn't matter whatever designs, what size, oh, I want that look to be on the nails. One of this foil, you can create so many different look. Let me place that one on. Using my tweezers. On the other end, it's not even even better when you're doing on the real clans nails. Make sure you press it firmly. And then you can see that all completely chamfer. You can see that how a big piece of it came off. Hi Sarah, how are you? We're gonna do some crystal placement on this. It's really cool though, I like the designs a lot. Um, I'm gonna using my tinted brush. And just for your information, like if you get the tinted brush, it's you, if you notice that one thick band is, will take you to the, um, on the size of the gel brush and then the other ends with thinner bands will take you to the detail brush so i'm not using that end you know, said she just created a design a few minutes ago did you I definitely definitely want to see that picture oh my god that, that is awesome nuna i can't wait i have to is that is that think alike you think I was just, I was sitting here and I said, "Oh my, what I'm gonna do?" And I, I was so busy earlier. Did you go live earlier that I miss? I really want to be watching them, and I'm gonna using a no wipe top coat. Okay, so let's see if I do a create the um, crystal placement like yours. It's gonna be awesome if I get to think alike, like you. It's gonna be great. Okay, so.
I have this crystals. So I'm gonna place them right here. Do you know what? This is really cool though. Even you can use um gel painting and outline it again i could see sarah would do that i just go right into the detail that it already have for the foyer How's everyone doing today? Thank you so much for tuning in today. It's gonna be more designs that we're gonna do. Oh, this one's looking good. I'm gonna fill in to all of this. It looks really um, cool though. Oh, it's right here, the flowers. Thank you, Keja. It's so cool and stunning that nowadays with the foyer, this game is so much easier, so much fun to play with. And continues if the clients like don't want any crystal placement your SLE can just top coat it and it's good to go but if you want to add some fun designs on and also let me add one I think I see two more pieces I will do right there and then this one more I using probably between size SS4, SS5, SS6. You, if you want it using a bigger size, I think it looks good as well. That's good. Just one more under there. I just right there. Right there. Do I miss anything wrong? If you're happy with this, we are going to cure this one for 60 seconds. It's so different and I really like it. And move on to the next one. We're gonna do check on the precision glue to double secure that nails in shortly. And I am going to again with um premium I hold chanfer foil again because I'm gonna do uh, that for that I showed earlier okay here for 30 seconds and I will trim some of P 
pieces out of this collection. You can use the same one or you can get smaller patch of it. You can get that. Also get this. You don't have to get exact the same. You can get several different look. Let's see it's gonna, how it's going to turn out. I'm really light touch. I don't want to get too have alternated back and forth. You can do more than just two different like there are ten different um, colors and diff ten different effects that you can use it as well. I kind of like the mix of it though. Or you can even chant for a whole piece on this one. look really cool oh like basically you get whole nails transfer it looks like a flick but look at that so now I'm gonna do some uh, crystal placements on this one and I'm debating there's so many choices and I can't. I'm like so excited. Okay. This one, the green one. Okay. Uh, I am going to using twin tip brush. I'm gonna apply this right here. What I'm gonna do, do a centerpiece first and just a little bit and no wet top coat. I am not gonna apply this whole nail yet because I want this centerpiece to be set first because it's kind of nice and heavy and it is um, spinning. There's different color. Oh, hold on. I found a different do. Oh, I want that one. It's really cool. I really, maybe a next set I should do this one again because it's so cool. Kind of heavy. All right, so then it's curved on the base, so then it's going right into the nails. And I'm gonna flash clear this one and keep it flat and flash clear this one for um, 30 seconds or 10 seconds to just get it set. So can you keep that real flat? Just don't, don't let it move. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Keep it flat. He'll hold his breath because if he move, it's gonna go on either left or the right. So then we're gonna have to do like cook its crystal centerpiece. So let's hope for the best. Cause sometimes it travel from here this uh this area and move to the lights right next to me. It's like because it's kind of heavy. So I'm going to using, um, thank you, Nuna. Hey, Cece, hey, how are you, love? Hope everyone have a great day. Hey, Tony, how are you? Happy Tuesday. Thanks so much for tuning in. All right. Not bad at all. You lock it in there, ready? It's okay. It's okay, but it's still a nice centerpiece. Um, I'm gonna apply the condensed glue gel. It's our um, biggest, strongest uh, formula to keep your crystal from flat back 3D charm chain in one place. 
So I'm gonna apply like our entire nails because I think a little bit crooked because it's one, but I wanna make the best out of it. And I'm gonna doing the no wipe top coat. Can I get the tray mm -hmm. right there? Thank mm -hmm. you. I'm using my newest dragon scale dramatic glitter. This is so simple and easy. You can just like, oh, look, I did it accidentally. Somehow I pick it up, it was upside down. So when it happened like that, just like knock it off and pick the new one. Hey, AX, Gracia, thank you so much, love. Thanks so much for tuning in. And I'm gonna easing. This frame. Then add the crystal along with it. If you don't want the crystals along with this, you can absolutely do just uh, Dragon Scale. And it's really nice that um, the tiny little connection, the edges between the Dragon Scale, you can add your Try to adjusting it that be good if the base is just run a little bit when we're moving it. You can see, but it's not gonna bother us at all. So I'm adjusting it and we can keep this one under the light for 60 seconds. All right, let me get a piece of paper. I'm gonna wipe it up on the side. So make sure that it's the, all the extra 
condensed glue gels and the top coats will stay like nice and clean. And now we're gonna cure this. Um, wait, 60 seconds. Move on to the next nails. We're gonna do all of them in um, precision glue at the same time. So what's the name of this uh, dragon scale? Looks really cool though. I am going to use this one because remember that I told you about that I really want to do this one. Also, this one looks cool though. Which one should we do? We did like quite a few of them. Yeah. This one. This one? Mm -hmm. So, okay. So let me get, take that off. This is what the number of the collection? 34. It's 34, so I'm gonna using this one. It's cool, it's had the lace on it too. So number 34 and golden, I think, golden walls. All right, so I want that and using chanfer foil. Really super fun and easy. It's not supposed to stress you when you're doing um, like all that nail art fun. 30 seconds for this one. So for all of you who just tuning in, this is the two look that we did today. It is both from Chanfer Foy number 30, 30th and a number uh, and the Chanfer Foy. No, it's not coffee bites. It's um abstract. Abstracts. It's really cool though, it's really stunning with this abstract. I like that a lot. Okay, so let's move to the next nails. Thanks so much, Nuna, I appreciate it. I think it's this one. Let's see. I'm gonna do that. So it get the part of flowers and the leaves. Okay. You can lay it however angle you prefer. I think it's gonna be so much fun. It doesn't matter the way you it was cool. You make sure you press it firmly. You see that how it chanfer completely? Oh, it's spinning? Oh, nice, okay. So now it's spinning. I have this on my nails. I wearing it and I love it. So you see that how you playing with your rings spinning? This one, I do that and I get it on my nails and it's spinning. Look at that side. Look. Okay. So let's do some crystal placement for this beautiful nails. It's so stunning if you just, the clients just want little hints of gold on the lace gold flowers on the black nails. I think this will be perfect, and then you can just need to top coat it. But I'm going to ours on condensed glue gels. This is the first step on our is three-step method system that will really do I say, hey light brass, how are you, love? Thanks so much for tuning in. Oh, this is so much fun, nail tech. This spinning, I will see it and spin all day long. Sometimes with clients, uh, we have a uh, gentleman's client that come in to get a spa done, and they say, "Oh my God, what you got on your nails?" So excited! They say so interesting. All right, so we're gonna do a no wipe top coat. This is the second step from our three step methods. This will, will between condensed glue gel and cure and no wipe top coat will really like. Um, Ankle your base of your crystal down. So I'm like debating 
Should I like put crystal all over it? Or should I just put crystal in the center? But then this is like kind of a hint background, like a light background. Hey, Corina. Hi, Christy. Thanks so much, ladies, for tuning in from Facebook. I'm going to be using uh, Violet's uh, shard. To, this is in the collection of um, second anniversary crystal kits. Um, we are getting, um, it's time for that kit to be retired. No, it's fun. So much love for that one. It's good time, you know, to move on to the next kit. If you are ready, we're so ready. There's so many different new shapes coming in and the new solid crystals and we can't wait. So if any of you love the um, collections of the second anniversary crystal kits that still have some left before it's gone, I would suggest it to get it because a lot of um, best-selling shape and in such a great price. Um, just take a look at that. Okay, I need the tray here. Yeah. I'm gonna use rose gold on this one. Where am I doing? I found it. And now it's go away. It's really cool though. I'm not using some of the bigger beads in here. I'm just so tempting. This has lots in here. Sorry, I was like, okay, I want to show you what I'm doing. Um, just a lot of frame that I want to place with. And it's so much fun to play with. This is a supreme rose gold. It looks like an hour though. Ooh, looks really like. So for all beginners, if you start playing with the crystal placements, it's so simple step. As long as you get your uh, crystal closed and tight together, they always turn out nice. I promise. So we put a little arrows right here. And we'll do some crystals in this. Give me another crystal. Maybe AB? Mm -hmm. Maybe AB right there. I'm gonna put few in some AB. I haven't done AB for a long time. Have I? Mm -hmm. Just I feel like I miss it. Okay, so here I have to share with you. I'm not gonna lie to you. Be honest, when I first start with crystal placements, I don't like care much for anything else like um others colors of a crystal besides just ab and then after a while when i start playing with this i start feeling like i need more challenge so i start playing more with color crystal and i really enjoying it as well so do you see that how is my um all the step i does just using all the crystals and you can just plate them close together and it doesn't matter what size you can go from size ss4 ss3 you know ss5 ss6 doesn't matter you enjoying it because you an artist so 
and you can't feel a... So after a while, when I'm playing with the crystals, I really like want to challenge myself with different colors because sometimes I'm thinking like, when you look at that, it's oh, it doesn't like sparkle like AB. This is still my favorite, but also, if you want to get yourself into the more fun and challenge like um, techniques, try a different colors of a crystal and see how you um, can really challenge yourself. It's kind of fun though. I would have to say I'm not like, it's just like really fun to place with. And I start playing and paying a lot with charms and don't afraid of to try it because you know guess what it's if it just in the worst case you don't like it you can always take it off and redo them well sometimes if i have it happen to me with the clients like if i feel like i don't like it i say sorry i'm too ocd i'm gonna take it off and i do it or i'm like do it before i mean not like um when you cure it it's gonna be take a lot of work but if you place like this you feel like one or two of them are not the way you want it you can absolutely change it um to take a couple off and then replace them so then you'll be happy i'll play some beat there so as long as you place all the crystal close 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 tight together you'll never go wrong with this i promise Really enjoying it. So you can truly really dress this in. Hi, Maya. Hello, love. How are you? Thanks so much for tuning in. Hey, King Eric's, how are you? Thank you, love, for tuning in. Oh, I think I missed it. Too, sorry. <laughs> is it way minutes? Where is that at? Right there. So if you want to put the bars right here, like in the frame, you can. You know what? And try um, plays with like even rose gold um, or yellow gold beads bar frame or silver you can like incorporate them all together it doesn't it's not limit of what you can do and you'll be amazing what you can create with so do not limit your potential just try it just in case that it doesn't turn out the way you want it you can always redo them I still have some, um, I still have some background there. <laughs> Sorry if I colors or anything, but I did say earlier, if you prefer, like for instance, the clients just want the, um, the foil only, the background, you can absolutely do it and then cure that one for 60 seconds. But if the clients want crystal placement, this is fun part. All right, maybe I miss one. Yeah, just one more. I will get the smallest one, my size SS4 right there. So if you're finished. Okay. Great. So I am going to cure this. Should I do one more? Yeah. Sorry. I feel like on the end, it's just missing a little bit. However, it's just my personal preference. You can add it on. Okay, I feel like complete now. But I still have some background in that. Okay, so if you're happy with this, and we are going to cure this for 60 seconds. Just to make sure that that cook it. Cure it okay. Okay, so for the last nails, 
I have an idea and I really like this. It just remind me of, every time I'm thinking of that, I think of Nuna. Do you know why? Because of Hawaii. Because she did this really cool one of the contests. She did this collection. If you don't know that it's had the really big, huge, um, giant butterflies on this, it's a collection number 28. And this is so stunning. But I am going to do this designs right here. I believe I'm using it before. It's like, if I, if this is the Pumeria's flowers. And I did this for um, liquid and powder ombre. So I want to use this today for the nails. And then we'll see how it takes. And then I have the design that I want to, to do that. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the uh, premium Iho Chan for foil. Reason it is here in 30 seconds, so that's why. I did have some of the nails, a lot of tutorial I'm using with our um, Iho Chan for foil in a white bottle. Okay, great. So now we are going to cure this for 30 seconds. I'm gonna probably get try to get these flowers. Let's see if I'll get it. Um, I took one of this collections out because I have this kit. That this is the violets shot. It's in here. It's had all different varieties from 3D to um, neon neon shot neon drop and a lot of like all of best you know selling shape so if you really like this kit grab it for yourself before this one will be is done because we're gonna do another a different really amazing kit so if you like this it's not gonna be this happen the same just a heads up and also come with your two kits and your uh, precision glue which is my best friends for crystal placements I have to say so I try to light this one up hopefully I get it right lay it right in the center and then using your teaser if you don't have it that's okay get the piece of paper and then you can rub it because sometimes my hands had a cuticle oil or the oil a natural oil from your body or sometimes make you feel like you press them really cool Hard, but it's not hard enough to chant for it. So make sure it's good rub on it. So then that way it will chant for for you. If you miss anything, just like it back up. doesn't have it in there because I didn't press it enough on that. Good, good. You dress them up there. Let's see that. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is crystal placements for this one. It's gonna be kind of a fun snails. And this is gonna be for like a summer nails. Um, I'm not using condensed glue gel. It's really thick density. We're gonna go with this as the first step. Boogie's night. Bougie, bougie. That's what, do I miss something? I was like, it's amazing. Um, thank you so much, Corina. All right, so what I'm gonna do is the. Uh, it's okay. 
Okay, I'll pull it again. Oh, it's already in. No, the pressure's only been up one minute. Oh, okay. Sorry, everyone. Welcome back. Welcome back to our live tutorial. Sorry that it would crash or something. It happened. Hi, Keja. Thanks so much, love, for tuning right back in. I appreciate it so much. Somehow, it just crashed on me. It's probably it was like waiting for us to get really fun nails before. All right. Hi, Zoe. Hey, love. Hi, Eric. Hi, Debbie. Thanks so much for tuning back in. Sorry, somehow, it just get. It's just like... Uh, just crash on me I have no no idea so I'm using this collection it's really a make me so stunning on this one I'm gonna play some of like you know like seashell here and then you know like it feel like an ocean theme to me I'm just putting out like so I did the condensed school gels and then next I apply the um, top coat it's just outline just first and then we can go from there There's some shells here. I guess I use them all. Where is that starfish? Where's the rest of the starfish? This is such an interesting uh, collection of the flame, rose gold flame. I know I love rose gold. So much fun to play for. Okay. This is so cool though. It's got huge beads in here. Oh, come back. Got a huge beat in there. I might put it in there for 3D though. It's really cool though. Alright. So can you get me the Bahamas too? Mm -hmm. Bahamas. Bahamas. Uh, so I'm using a ruby rose. And let's see what we can play with this. And do not afraid of to combine like two colors together. I cover my plumeria. However, this is cool though because if you want to do the crystal placement down here you can't uh, but if you want like different crystals and do not afraid to get them like It's really cool that the charms, I love it, how a frame really cool. But if, just in case none of them are turning the way you want it, you can always using a frame bender and bend it. It's such a great thing. You can bend the way you want it. If you want to be more curved, more straight, you can absolutely control your frame without, without a frustrated of, you know, they'll come in straight. Look at it, even it's go on the opposite side, but it's just really go along with the nails. So you don't have to worry about. You can use any stud. I like to fill it in at this spot right there. This one is it's really fun to play with. Smaller one. 
Mislimo da take it, stara i. Bez, bez mojma. I think I'm there too. And there's another. And you can fill in all the gaps that you want to. I'm going to do it right down here. You can hear in the back, but I have so many like storage that. So, let me see. You did it better? Uh, yeah, should be fine. I'm gonna move this one. Sorry, I will try to keep it straight in my back. So you can have go into and then see what part are missing. Any missing, you can fill it in. I think I want to do that. Maybe they want to take the piece of the big bead. Stone one. It's funny, I always wanted to get that big bead in there. There's another one. I think I'm gonna do it. Be right there. You can do so many, it's so much fun. Do not uh, afraid of to play with them. Uh, hey Murray, we using gels we're using a glue gel. Actually, the glue gel, it needs to be cured under LED light. So that's what we're using is condensed glue gels to apply in a really thick density. So you can really sit back and ensure your crystal placements will last up to three to six weeks. So we're using condensed and cure condensed blue gels and we apply with our no wipe top coat. There's two um, second step from um, the crystal placements. It will help really grab the crystal stay in one place. But you know what? I think I should get some yellow and I don't know why I didn't see that. But I'm gonna add it in. Hopefully it's gonna is gonna complement you can do that yellows or you can I think I got some yellow to care because let's look at I think I think it's that is I say right it's Pomeria it might be so So Marie, we using a, a glue gel, so you wanna need to cure it. Like it's not curing right now; it's still wet because we place the crystal placements on the top of uh, uncured condensed glue gels and no wipe top coat. Until you place your crystal and you're happy with what you're doing, and then you're gonna cure it. So you have a plenty of time and playing with your products if you need to. Like say, if you need to get like all this difference. Uh, crystal adjust or uh, you have a lot of time to work on it first before it dry you know so and absolutely it is, is a, here the base of the crystal so you don't have to worry about rushing until you really happy with the design you want Uh, yes, the both the reason it when you use both condensed glue gels and no wet top coat, what it is it does, it will help 
not only to finish after you finish this nail will be completely like done on the surface so you don't have any tacky layer and you don't have to worry about it tacky sticky underneath of your of your um crystals also the unkeer no wipe top coat and condensed wool gel will help to grab the ankle the base of the crystals and grab it around the base of it so then it's not only you have one it's actually a double to hold tight your um, crystals before you cure it and in just a little bit when we finish this we're gonna using a pre-season glue which is the third step of um, true Fexter. and then you're gonna able to really uh, double secure and like triple secure it all your crystal and then prevent from catching on the hair or on the clothes anything else that clients is um can you know like what you put thinking of like i work a lot it would catching on my hair because i have long hair so then it could be catching my hair if i don't have this and even i'm wearing a lot of different cool ch charms on my nails it didn't it's never been bothering me at all So I'm really like pleased with that. So I think I'm good. If you want to do more, you can continue to play more. But I think I'm like good. Okay, but I look everyone. I have a background underneath and I cover it up. But however, it's just uh, an idea for crystal placement. But if you like it without crystals placement, you can just do in Halo along with the uh, Kitty Coats area. I think it looks really cute and is great as well. But if you decide to do some crystal placement and then funds, uh, that's how it's gonna look. And you can do it in like a like diagonals for the nails. So you can do right in the middle. You can do just a corner down here. However you prefer it. Um, I am going to cure this one for 60 seconds. And in the meantime, we're gonna do a pre-season glue on the all of them that we've been done. Okay, so great. Look at this bead, it's so cute. We can do it for 3D. This is so much fun. I can't wait because a lot of frames in there you can play with. You see that was some of my videos I did without even you place your crystal in the middle of the frame. You can do it off from the frames. Um, and then you can go from there. So... I am using a first, it's a condensed wool gel. Here's for you, it's for Maria. This is really thick density, really, really thick density. And each time you use just a little bit and it's so thick density, so you can even like using it with like 3D charms, or all, all the chains and all of um, beads and frames. And you apply the no white top coat on the top. So when you finish, like this one, we did that same system and it dries right now, you don't feel any tacky because you don't wanna doing it on condensed glue gel and then underneath of your crystal base still tacky and wet, right? And then you have to using your con top coat to go between the crystal. You might getting the brush through that and it might cover on the top of your crystal which is make all your crystal shy and a cut is might dull and then go away. It take away from a really sparkle of it. And so the same with this one, we're done already. And same thing with this. Now we go back and then we're doing like a double secure and triple secure. So we're gonna do this one. And using our pre-season glue right here, on the top cap, it will take you to a needle sections. This needle part is gonna be a crystal best friends. I'm so, Please with this it just helped me so much from you know make me feel like really confidence of crystal placement is open if even though it's already great but sometimes if I still missing edges right here and then clients going home and might catching on their clothes or their hair especially if they're doing their hair or um, they might catching like right here I feel scratchy so I'm gonna fill it in. So each time you do, you're gonna squeeze just a little bit. A little, go a long way. This bottle will last you a long time. 
unless if you are using a lot, if you just, just run out in one month, which is congratulations, it means it's awesome. You make this really boots of your income for crystal placement, which is awesome. But if you're using it to fill it in, like a lot of clients love this and using it to, um, you can even feel on the top of your stud, your charm here, which just doesn't hurt anything, but all this is, you can cover that, but do not cover it on the top of the crystal. So I'm gonna feel it on the edges, and I feel the gap right there, I feel scratchy here, you're gonna squeeze just a little bit in, so then it's gonna feel in all the gap, so then it's gonna completely seal all the crystals. So I'm gonna using my twin tip brush on the other end, all right there. And I will, using this line, my cover detail line, and I'm gonna play just like right here and give it a really quick like blend. So then that way when you finish, you can see the different look that it doesn't look like a lumpy or it's all the excess glue gels there. And it's tag free, so you can even using this to apply some of the crystal like halo along with the of the uh, cuticle area, and also you can using a top coat. I'm using a top coat to just coat right seals on the top of the stud. Just really be careful, just a touch. But you can also using your pre-season. You know what? I think is a great way to doing it. If you don't want to using this big old brush, you can close this. And I'm gonna show you a cool tip and trick. Close this and first, just don't lose this red cap because it will keep protect from clocking and um, licking. And I'm gonna open the other end, which we'll is take you to precision brush right there. And you can use this to coat your charms and even around right here in detail with your without touching your crystal, like right the beads right there and right here. If you need more, go back and get more. And then get that. So then you can do really precise without touching your crystal. So now we here for 60 seconds. Hi Whitney, hi super cute bling nails. Hello, how are you? Thanks so much for tuning in. Did I miss anyone? Hi Libra, thanks so much for tuning back in. Okay, so I am going to check on the base. And you only check it and you feel scratchy and you squeeze just a little bit. You do not squeeze it first. That's I suggest that because you, you squeeze it a lot first and it might flood your crystal. So you wait until you feel scratchy, then you squeeze it. And then go right into my brush. I'm so excited tomorrow we're gonna announce the winner of 50,000 followers giveaway and also it's great thing tomorrow we're doing really a, basically a little mini of virtual trick show me and Sarah will streams start from noon at um, CST we're gonna go through all different products like from 4D gels um, spider gels and weaver gels that we using and then is uh want to be a lot of crystal placements and so many more and then so many cool fun surprise uh gifts tomorrow so at 12 of cst central standard times okay so oh thank you so much zoe i'm so glad you like it and this one is spinning though just because I'm moving it was straight, but I'm moving from where I'm at to the lights. I didn't see it, so then it's cooking a little bit for me, but it's not a big deal because it's a little bit far away from me. You know what? It's not bad because the ring is make it looks like even more crooked, but it's not. And it's cool though. Clients love it. It's kind of like we're wearing a rings, um, the spinning ring. I love it. It's just like instead of me, 
I have a little bit like sometimes if I'm anxious and nervous, I was like picking something or like a lot of like my kids were biting their they didn't bite their nails, but they were sucking their thumb, right? When they were little. Same thing. I love it when it's just like plain. And it's come with different six colors, I think. It's just so much fun. So, Sarah, are you ready? We are still working hard to get, you know, great surprise for all of you. Is we're streaming from noon to every the other hours, noon, and then we do for an hour, it's we're off an hour, so we'll do an hour, and we're off an hour. So clear this one for 60 seconds. It's gonna be stun stunning. So if, you know, it's the first um, try for us, what be besides we're streaming every day, but it's gonna be something fun to go back and forth, and it's gonna be a lot of cool things, surprise, a lot of something. So we can't spill the bean yet, but you know, if you like it, it's like, you know, how we're doing it, we're gonna continue doing a lot of often to support a lot of hours, you know, now techs and all of you who love and support us, so. Trying is something new, so if you are like having some time or if you're back to work, you have some minutes a break between your clients, absolutely, please tune in. And you'll be, you never know, you're gonna get some cool surprise things and I can't wait. Right, Sarah? It's just gonna be fun. And for that is a great um, mini virtual trade shows, but we'll have some, a lot of new things coming and a lot of new products coming and so many new um, giveaway from Sarah's coming up when she hit 6,000 followers. Thanks so much for supporting her as one part of our Glitz team. Her dedications and her, um, you know, is passion. It's really supporting us. Give us a lot of like great idea. So here I'm keying the other nails. You see that how really fun and simple and uh, it's so much to do with this. You can do with solids with um, chamfer foil. Live brass, I did this nail for you for um, abstracts for it. Looks like a, it looks like a flick chromes, right, Sarah? Yes, can't wait. It's gonna be, yep. So we're gonna stream pretty much like all day. And if you like it so much, we have a great plans and coming up for you know, in, in the future. So I can't wait. Um, we'll test it out this, and then we'll next time we'll it's like getting a lot of different dates, uh, uh, days randomly. But we absolutely want to announce ahead of time as well. But tomorrow's gonna be so much fun, and I can't wait um, to be streaming at one of my favorites, Sarah. So excited! I'll get nervous with Sarah. <laughs> She's so awesome. I learned so much from her. All right, the fourth nails, everyone's. So let's see. I don't know which one is your favorite, but I don't know which one. I like them all. I'm not gonna lie to you because, you know, it's funny is that how um. Sometimes the clients that come in, they ask me the, the designs and the, and the colors, and they say, so which one is your favorite? Is this that you like it? And I say, I say, I love it. I don't like it. I love it. And they say, no, you'll lie. Because everything, every time you see the clients, you'll say you love it. And I say, don't you think so? Because uh, with that glue, do you have to put in the lambs or air dry? Hey, M Mary. This one, you're gonna put it in the lambs and keep it for 60 seconds. So this, condensed glue gels. Um, can I get the trifecta set? The plastic one. So condensed glue gels, and no wipe top coat, and precision glue. You do need to keep all three of this in 60 seconds to completely cure. So these three, if you have to get one item, Mary, I would suggest with this one. Um, condensed glue gel, no wipe top coat, and precision glue. And also, it's come in, the pack is really cool. The pack of you getting your condensed glue gel, your no wipe top coat, precision glue, and then you're receiving a free of your... Um, mega mix crystal so then you can play with like with all different colors that's just one of the colors like all the colors i have it in there in the nails that was come in that jars the mix jars 
So if you have one item, you need to pick one item to play with the crystal placement and see how much success you can get. And beyond that, um, check that one out. Uh, Trifecta is give you a great, um, the great way to adhere the crystal. Also, there's special um, combo price for that one if you have to pick one item. So check that out. But if you have any further questions, feel free. Absolutely, we're gonna be my, here to supporting you. Um, geez. The mm, Mary is last good up to three weeks. I have a lot of clients up to three between three to six weeks. Make sure that you care with under the really like a uh, proper LED lamp. Make sure your lamp is full care. And if there are rechargeable red lamp, you make sure it's re is rechargeable completely before you care in. And also. If the light is missing the bulbs and it needs, it's not full care, it might affect that. But if you does have your full la the full care with the LED lamp, it should be good to go. So, hi Bonita, hello, how are you? Hi, Mamita, thanks so much for tuning in. And I really appreciate every single of you for tuning in today. I'm really enjoying it today with like as usual every day yes sarah says they're exclusive so tomorrow we're gonna be streaming together from noon to uh noon uh cst which is is central standard time to five o'clock in cent you know in central standard times me and sarah will go back and forth every the other hours and then we're gonna have we stream a lot of different cool products a lot of different we're gonna change a lot of different ideas like question q and a if you are you know like that will get, get back to work and you're busy you can tuning in whatever you have a spare moments that'd be awesome we'll love to have you every even like even one minute you know it is great that to is mean the world to us for the love and support and uh we couldn't be here without every single view every day we're trying to so many different um techniques so then we want you to be as head of the game so then that way you always be proud of yourself you're a great nail technician it's just the right career for you to be in and you have a good support behind your back you we always get your back as you know you always get ours so we really really appreciate it and grateful for it so we're definitely excited and can't wait to see you tomorrow so absolutely a great life today and I hope you like you know enjoying it because I don't know I can't pick which one so maybe this one I don't know this one the, so this is a variety so for clients it's really like one simple nice detail this you know and I can't wait to watch Nuna she's got this design earlier so Nuna thank you so much well maybe we have it uh, think like um, it's fast oh I'm sorry it's Central Standard Time CST I'm sorry. So CSE is Central Standard Time. So about like 10 o'clock at your uh, Pacific Standard Times. Thank you, Whitney. So thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Whitney. Thanks, Bonita. Thanks, Super Cute Bling Nails. Thanks, uh, Whitney. Thank you, Wanda. And thank you, Janae. Hey, thanks so much for tuning in. And thanks, Sarisa. Sorry, I missed you earlier. I didn't. Mamita, Eric, thanks so much. Zoe, Lyra, send a lot of love and kisses on your way. And thank you, Nuna. We miss Foxy, but if you are in here, hello. I don't want to miss it, sending the love to all of you. Thank you so much, everyone, that I didn't get to um, say hi to you. But you know what I mean. Send all the love to all of you. Thank you, Marie, for tuning in. Hey, thank you, Corina, if you're still there. And thank you, Tony. Thank you so much, everyone. We're definitely going to see you tomorrow at noon um, Central Standard Time. And for a lot of tutorials, questions, anything, and products, kits, uh, a lot of specials. So any question regarding to the products or the tutorials i'm doing it today if you are still concerned of techniques anything you can dm us at glister sessi and such on both facebook and instagram our team will try the best if you want to get hold of us um 
this you know immediately regarding to order question the products or anything else you can always email us at info at glissaccessoryandsuch.com if you need further assistance you can always text us at 206-771-15086 um, team will get back to you as soon as possible also you can call at 206-771-15086 um, if you need to um, asking any information for uh, uh, products and need access for order uh, anything else so really enjoy it tonight everyone i love you all i would definitely gonna see you tomorrow have a uh, good the rest of the night bye bye